Blackbusters. What's cracking with it, family? Welcome to Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In in the world, Craig. In the world. In the Craig. world, Craig. I'm your host, Big Ja, mm-hmm. along with my co-host, Brother Tone. Brother Tone. Brother Tone. Yes, sir. And uh, it's a good day, man. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> it's a thin line hey, between love and hate. We are doing a Woo. thin line between love and hate mm, mm, today. Mm. Tonight. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, a thin line. Man. I will say instant classic. Yes. We'll get to the fist at the end. But I will say instant classic. Uh very well casted. Yes. Yes, sir. Um, we're gonna say uh directed by Martin Lawrence. This A lot of Martin. folks don't know that. Okay, he directed it. As he should have. Yes. As he should yeah. have. Yeah. Directed by Martin uh Martin Lawrence, written the story was written by Martin Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Um Bentley Kyle Evans and Kenny Buford. Okay. All right. Yes. The screenplay. Bentley Evans wrote it, Kenny Buford as well. The story was by Martin Lawrence, and I think the movie was great. I loved it from beginning to end. Yeah. And uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, I feel equally as strong about this movie. Um, and again, like, you know, I'm known for for, for taking takes and yeah. kind of dissecting. And the, Interesting takes. This one is, this one is, like, I've got an obvious take that's, that's kind of like worth discussing that we'll get there later. Um, but I love this movie. At right. the time, I was a huge Martin Lawrence fan. Amen. Huge Martin Lawrence yes. fan and would have watched anything that he did. Um, the movie was set in the neighborhood I grew up in. Amen. Right? Yes, sir. So, like, the, the hood, opening scene, right there. you know, off of Marlton, right, right, when he comes out of the complex. Yes. Like, you know, like, my gra- my grandmother and my aunt's apartment is in the shot. Right. Right? Yes. They're down off of Lemert, you know, in Lemert Le Park. Like, yep. you know, by so. The, by the fountain. It, it feels so comfortable. You got Regina King in it. Regina King. Bobby Brown yes. is in it. Um Della Reese. Della Reese yes, is, is, is in it. Um and 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 Lynn Whitfield. Um yes. just a great cast, great movie. Give us the synopsis. <sighs> okay. Where do I begin? Mark Lawrence, man. You're amazing, bro. Mm-hmm. You already know that though. Uh, starring Mark Lawrence and Lynn Winfield. Um, Mark Lawrence plays w- uh, one half of a dynamic duo of club promoters. Club promoters. His name is Darnell Wright. His best friend and partner in crime is T, played by Bobby Brown. And Bobby Brown was a great T. I, what well, was one of my notes here? He deserves flowers. He was excellent he was in this movie. He was a great T, bro. He, he was, was a great partner. excellent in this movie. Yes. It was a realistic situation of two friends that were successfully doing their thing as club promoters. Yeah. And they was playboys living their best lives. Yeah. And they were, they were doing what most club promoters do, get with women by using the Chocolate City VIP passes. This the yeah. charm that Bobby Brown shows in this movie. The yes. charisma is why, like, I've like he was already Bobby Brown, yeah, already Bobby Brown. But like, I felt like it, it required a certain charm and charisma to be able to pull Whitney Houston, right? And it's apparent here. He's right. healthy. Mm-hmm. He's strong. He's, he's young. He's strong. young. He's good healthy, looking. Yeah. It's like you know before like Bobby Brown jaw, like before right, you know, like, right, you know right. before that you know the, that that powder gets that yeah, slack going before he got that boy before the strokes and shit, right? You know yeah. what I mean? So like, he's fantastic. One hundred percent believable yes. as as a player. His performance as a was pimp. good. Yeah, he could. Act. This is Bobby Brown, the the uh, prince of R and B at yeah. the time or before eighties and early nineties. Mm-hmm. He 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 can act. Yeah, he can he, act phenomenally. He was doing his thing. The one knock that I have. And this is not even a knock. There's going to be no knocks. Uh, but like, it's always interesting when the comic plays the smooth guy. Mm-hmm. It doesn't always doesn't work. Always, it's almost like seeing like Superman walk. Like mm-hmm. you can fly. What the fuck are you doing, you right? Fly, you, <laughs> you know, like Martin is so funny. Yes, that like he can't help but like bring the Martinisms. You can tell he directed it exactly. 
the, the, it, our regular director mm-hmm. would have either possibly let him do. Of course, you're gonna let Martin fly. Yeah, but you you're not gonna let him fly as much as he did. Right. Because, unless you're the director, unless mm-hmm. Martin was directing himself. Yes. Because most people would have. I don't think most directors would let him make those choices mm-hmm. all the time. Exactly. All the choices <laughs> exactly. he was making. Exactly. But because he was the director, he, uh-huh. he was allowed to make all the choices right. that he made. Right. You know what I mean? And, and oh. he comes on, you know, like, he's smooth, but it's like Martin smooth, right? And you can tell this is the Martin. This is, he's he's super fly. Yeah. He's trying to, he, he hey, baby. Player, player from you know the saying? Himalaya. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. He's, he's, right. He's, he's, right. He's, right. You dig it, baby? Yeah. He, he's Max, Millian, uh, Max Julian. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, the Mac. Yeah. Very much tell. influenced. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? And, um, but, but, but he pulled it off, I believe. He pulled. It. We're gonna to get to the the, mm-hmm. uh, the awards, the shit. of course, <laughs> right? The shit, the doo doo. <laughs> yes, uh, but he uh, <laughs> he he. I think I believed him. Mm-hmm. I believed him. Um, and let me finish. Yeah, my yeah. Man, you know, I, I, I I'll go off the rails. But shout, shout out to T. Shout out to T. Bobby, Bobby Brown, Brown did his thing. And that, that, that let me know that he could have been a star. Man. He could have done a lot of things in the Pocket industry. full of numbers. Yes, it's, sir. You know, what's interesting. <laughs> Pocket full of numbers. Yeah. Yes. I thought about it. Like, then. I You know, b- before you get back into the, uh, synopsis. the synopsis. But I thought about all the other things that, like, Bobby Brown could have been cast in. Yeah. Like, I was even willing to go so far. Like, he could have got, got cast in, in, in Bad Boys. I, Right, I was just about to say, <laughs> like, could he play like a cop, a hood cop? Yes, that's rough around the edges, but yes. still good at his job. And like, it was yeah. so obvious yeah. that like he could he could have played more characters. He could have played a villain. He could have been a rogue cop. He could have played a villain. You know, like he had the absolute chops. He was one hundred percent believable. Yes, I really dug it. I dug it a lot. Um, so Martin plays Darnell Wright, uh, D. He's a club promoter and he's very successful. Mm-hmm. He drives a nice right, Pathfinder, I think. Yeah. He uh lives in a nice house in um mid jungles slash, slash almost going to the yeah. Baldwin Hills. The hill area. of Baldwin Hills. The hills the hills of Baldwin. <laughs> right. Yeah. At the foot of Baldwin. But he in the hood. Yeah. But uh, like he he he's not in the projects, mm-hmm. but he right around there. He yeah. right around, he in he in the jungles, basically. Yeah. Um, but he uh he dresses fly, he's manicured down, he's debonair, he's dapper. And he's, he's successful, and he got a gang of women. He controlled the VIP you know list. He controls the VIP list, and he's so good. He's so, he, him and T are so good at their jobs that their black owned uh, ball. I mean, the, the, the Chocolate City is the club, and mm-hmm. it's black owned by Smitty. Yep, an older gentleman. Great name, by the way. Yeah, Smitty. You gotta love Smitty. Yeah, that's a great name. And Smitty looked like he is an old player that could pull youngsters. Yes, young chicks. Yeah, man. Yep, yeah, young, young, young women. That is. Mm-hmm. Um. And uh, but he was a healthy, solid black man that owned and ran this club for fifteen years, and yep. he had these two youngsters doing their thing, helping his club even get better. It was already cracking. Yeah, he said, "But y'all," I said, "It's already chocolate city. It's, it's chocolate already in the city." I hired y'all for more chocolate. I, I hired y'all to put more chocolate in yep. chocolate city. Yep, and they did that. And um, and he was like, "I'm gonna make y'all partners." If it, 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 that's how good they were, mm-hmm. and. They were just players. It was players, but they were solid dudes. Um, you could tell that they they care for each other. They was friends. Yep. Um, he had a he had a um Darnell's character had a mom that he loved. He would go see her, mm-hmm. you know, and he was protective over his over his little sister. He was a good dude. Good dude. But when it came to women, just like <sighs> Yeah. I don't want to call him trash. Cause that word gets tossed around a lot. Right. But he's really, and this goes back to like the game. See what I liked about it, and we'll get into why this plays in importance. They did have a code, right? And the code was, okay, "You never and say I love you." Went, that's where he went trash, right? So that so that is we, that's when he crosses over. Yeah, he's just a player, player, you know. And I'm sure all the girl, everybody knows that he has girls, right? Even his girls know that he got yeah. girls. So that part, his you know. His mama knew. Mama knew. His sister knew. Everybody the knew. The best friend uh, Mia knew. Yeah, everybody knew. Right. Uh, but we don't we don't tell him we love him. Right. right? So yeah. so I'll throw that out there and we'll we'll cross that when we get to yeah. you know what happens later. So he um and uh a thin line between love and hate is this guy, is about this guy, Darnell, who uh he he's he's winning in every part of his life. Mm-hmm. The way the 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 love interest the love uh, the uh, love life 
his his career is is, is flourishing. Business is booming. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he meets this woman that, that that comes out of a boutique store outside of his uh next door to his his club, and he's like, he's I gotta have her. You know, we all had that. We all yeah. have had that moment when you see her. You have to have her. Yeah, it's it, it has to happen. Yeah, by any means necessary, I gotta get her. And so, and he was on that. And so, so was T. They both saw her at the same time. Mm-hmm. T came at her with the same thing. Yeah, I gotta have her. He's a player too. Yep. And, he, and she's such a hard nose win. She shot him down fast, quick, quick, fast. T had no chance. Yep. He he, he came with too much player and not enough. Uh, not enough. Uh. Uh, finesse, right? You know Needed some different bait. Yeah, different bait. Needed different bait. Because even even when Darnell, he he, it's almost like good good cop bad cop, right? Because uh, I apologize T, for my friend. I apologize for my friend. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, how you doing? I'm doing. I'm Darnell. Yeah, yeah. And so it still didn't work for him either. But he was smooth the way he dropped the flyer in. He dropped the flyer. Don't do me like that, Miss <laughs> Lady. Don't do me like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. dropped the flyer, the VIP pass yeah. inside of her limousine. And she drove off. Yeah. Fast forward to either the next day or the next whatever. Real quick, mm-hmm. Lynn Whitfield plays plays oh, Brandy. Yeah. Um so strong of an of an open. First, like, I'm gonna be giving her her bouquets yeah. throughout this. Orchard. Just just the whole nine. Yeah. She's 100% believable from the moment we meet her. I'm not into no shit. I'm not taking no shit. Leave me alone. I'm, she wanted I'm, to be left alone. I'm, I'm not interested. Right. Great, strong character. Yeah. But. Man, she's so dynamic, bro. She, she does. Uh. She doesn't even have to talk. Yeah, just the you, looks. To give you... The looks. To make you understand what's going on in yeah. the scene. Yeah, And she's so dope. That's the, crazy. To me, like, as an actress, the eyes and the mouth yes. do so much. Yes. The eyes, the eyes do so it. much. I just got finished telling a young lady that I, I just started shooting with mm-hmm. earlier this year for the first time. She's new. Uh, she's been doing it for a while, but acting... She's she been doing it for a couple years, like, mm-hmm. with in sketches, but acting... Narrative and, and and the stuff I do, it she ain't never mm-hmm. really done before. Right. So she's getting better and better, and I tell her she 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 uh, struggles with eye contact mm-hmm. as a, in her performances. So she like doesn't like to even in real life she doesn't look in your eyes a lot. She right. looks away. That's a one of her things. She right, says right. it's a confidence thing or something like that. I said when the acting, she has a look. She has a strong voice. When you deliver these lines, you got to look into his eyes or her eyes mm-hmm. to make the viewers really understand believe and believe you. that line you just said. Believe you. The eyes is the performance is is in the eyes. Right. Um. So yeah, you're right. She does amazing. Like her uh, eyes, you could, you could tell her eyes are sizing them up, mm-hmm. making decisions. Yeah. You know, without doing much, you could just yeah, see she just, she's making decisions. Mm-hmm. Computing. And then what she does with her mouth. Mm-hmm. When she smirks, when she smiles, right. when her lips are pursed and right. tight, like just a yeah. just a tour de force of acting, yes. right off the bat. I'm so I would have loved to see. It still can happen too, Angela and Lynn in the movie. Oh my goodness! Playing sisters, tremendous friends, energy, yeah, or such and such. I'm gonna make that happen if I can. Yeah, uh, Lynn Woodfield, Angela Bassett, yeah. Strength and my, on bro, strength. I've been thinking about this my whole li- most of my whole life. Yeah. As a young dude, I used to play movies in my head, bro. Like since I was like ten years old. Of them two? Uh, diff- different characters. Or just putting you know it together saying? in your mind. Different characters. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I started you start seeing stuff like Don Cheeto and Denzel and the Devil in the Blue Jets mm-hmm. work together. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. So I'm like, damn, that's that's the that was the dream come true watching that. Yeah. Angela Bassett, Lynn Whitfield. I- I've been wanting it. And who knows? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it, 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 it's if, if it's ever been done. Um, I, you know, I, I feel like I've seen all of Angela's Angela's yeah. movies, but maybe not. But Angela with Angela Bassett and Lynn Whitfield. That's like two superpowers, come right? On, bro. That's, you know, come on, Hogan and Macho that was, Man. That was, you know what I mean? Was, like that was Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. And Pacino, and that kind that's of level. That, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. Um, hundred percent. So if I could ever make that happen, that's a goal of mine. Hundred percent. Um. So yes, Lynn Whitfield is a monster. Brandy Webb is her name mm-hmm. on, in, in the movie, and she did once no part of either T or Darnell. Ain't interesting. And um, Martin doesn't take Darnell doesn't take no for answer. 
So uh, while he's still promoting the club and being successful, he's finding ways to get her. Yep. Um, first, she comes to the club. She does come she to the club. She does come to the club. And she he does like, come she to came. the club. And he's like, man, she came. She came. And so he thinks, okay, she come, she, she's, it's like clockwork. He gives these passes to all these beautiful women, and they mm-hmm. come to see him, and mm-hmm. he smashes usually. He thinks that she came to see him. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I, I, I'm glad you came to see me. Yeah. I came to see the club. Came to see the club. I didn't come to see you. Right. Um, he's like, okay, cool. So he's trying to talk to her. Let me buy you something to drink. You know what I'm saying? Hennessy and Coke or whatever mm-hmm. it was. And she's like, whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. Yeah. Gets up, walks away from him, walks across the club. He's watching her, of course, admiring her. And she starts dancing with another nigga. Yeah. And that's when I knew, oh, she's playing a game. She's playing a game. Huh. She's playing a game. Toy he with knows him. it. Toying with him. Right. Yeah. So now, then he goes to go find her, and when he gets downstairs, just like Wayman Tinsdale, <laughs> Tinsdale mm-hmm. in the Strictly <laughs> Business, she's gone. Yeah. She dipped out and left. Through. Mm-hmm. So he he goes out again and sees her uh, drive off, and he looks at the license plate mm-hmm. on some low-key, sc- on some low-key, uh, uh, stalker uh, stalker or player. Shit. Yeah, it's a thin it's line. Player. It's a thin it's line. A thin line with soccer talking. and player. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. It's right. a thin line. But uh, <laughs> he um got her. He got her license plate, uh-huh. and after that, with that information, he was able to find out where she lived yep. and, or where she works, and and, and kind of set up an appointment. Oh, like she was a, a client. real estate agent. Okay. Yep. So he <laughs> so he went to her office first. Mm-hmm. With a bouquet, a super bouquet of roses. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So he's he's putting his Mac down heavy. This is his you Mac. You know what I'm saying? This is his, this is his cool. move. He's getting at her. Front, he, he's pressing her. He walks in her office while she's on the business call and tells her, hey, call Dimitri back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got something to give you. It's for you. A bouquet of flowers, a huge bouquet. And uh, she kicks him out. Yeah. She calls security. And he's like, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get that. I'm but he's to... breaking her down. He's breaking her down the way Marcus broke down. Yep. Uh, uh, what was her, what was uh, Robin Gibbons' name and Boomerang? Oh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is my Mac Daddy vibe I'm giving you. Right. He was like, man, I'm trying to see you. He's not interested, but yeah. But it's he's, almost like she, he's chipping away. He's chipping away. He's, he's chipping away, away. At that log, yeah, right? that tree. Yeah. You know, and 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 the bet that he has running with TT is like you ain't never gonna be able to she knock that down. She's too high class for you, right. bro. She but got he, your lead. He's like, nah, I can do it. And if I and when I do it, mm-hmm. you gonna have to call me the man every day. Boom, and right? Like, All right, I call you the man every day if you knock those down. Right. And so it's the bet. He said, "A man, I don't ever bet on the women, mm-hmm. but I will tell you, I'm gonna get those. I yeah. promise you that. And so, when I do so get like, it, I'm gonna call you like an axe man, just one chop at yeah. a time. And here's the thing: you got to be a certain type of dude to be willing to do that. Mm-hmm. To get shut down and, and told no and basically insulted. Like, she dissed him on several occasions. Right. And he still kept that fire. Like, okay, I got you. Because mm-hmm. she showed up to the club. Then <laughs> like, danced for somebody else. And yeah. then on the, when she walked out, she looked back at the last minute. Yeah. Like, and, oh, and, like, and and to- Like breadcrumbs, like here. You know, to Darnell, that is, that is the evidence that, like, I'm going to be able to catch up to you. You may you, be fast. If you're not interested, that's one thing. Yeah. I I, I might not ever be able to get If get you weren't interested. interested, I wouldn't have seen you at this club. Right. To and, me, and that was the running, interest. Yeah. And you want me to chase? If, I, if it's a chase you're yeah. looking for, yeah. oh, I'm going to catch you eventually. I'm going to catch you eventually. I'm going to catch you. And that's what the flowers is and all mm-hmm. of the stuff. And then so the catch flowers is one. Okay. The flowers was two. Mm-hmm. The third one is her being a real estate agent. Mm-hmm. She was going to show a house to a client. Yep. A new client, and he pulled up in the limo. Yep, and got out. He was there with her client. Said, "What are you doing here? You playing it with my job? Mm-hmm. No, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to waiting for you to show me the house on some smooth shit. That's smooth. smooth. That's very smooth. smooth. That's not creepy. Yeah, it might seem stalkerish, but no, I'm mm-hmm. trying to be wherever you at. Yeah, I'm in you. I'm trying to be wherever you at. So if you at work, I'm at work too. Yep. You kick me out your office. Are you are you going to do your job and show mm-hmm. me the house? Yep." And that, 12, was, and that was and that was and that was the break. Right. That's what. That's what. Oh, another player move. He paid attention because mm-hmm. remember he was at her office and he tried to like like show. Oh her the, hand. yeah, he knocked over her her elephant figurine. Mm-hmm. She said, "Oh my god, this is Lalique." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And Smooth. She kicked him out. So Smooth. What he did now it was like a crystal figurine, like a crystal little, uh, you know, um, 
almost like a paperweight, but it was like classy. Yeah. Like a, you know, it was an elephant. It's an old thing that like, you know, the figurines, the yeah. porcelain, the crystal. She was, she's really yeah. into that. Yeah. So at, at when he uh, when he showed up to her job when to have her show him the house, they went to a certain room in the master bedroom and he had it on the fireplace shelf. Another figurine, like a dove. Nicely done, Darnell. That's player, bro. Player, player. That's, player. That, that's thought. Player, that's player. Thought. He, he, he thought about it. He put mm-hmm. he put it together. He planned it out. At this Damn. point, everything is working. And she even said, what are you doing? I, I'm not interested. I keep telling you this. Yeah. He's not keep telling you that I'm into you. Right. And you even, you're not even giving me a chance. When I tried to come at you correct and ask you to come to the club and ask you for out, out for dinner or get, try to give you mm-hmm. buy you a drink, you shut me down. So now I got to do all this extra goofy shit to get around you. Just to get your, yeah. Just to get your attention. So, I mean, I don't understand why you fighting this, but I'm not going nowhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, she softens a little. Yeah. And invites him into her world. Right. Start going to the museums, museums, art galleries, art galleries, yeah. horseback yeah, riding, riding, yeah, right. Um, so at so at this point, Martin is doing what he has to do. Martin Darnell is doing what he has to do right. to get it done. A um, couple of interesting tidbits. Get them here. Um, you one hundred percent know, like especially after. So there's a big kind of argument that they have um, at the. After they go horseback riding, right. right? Martin tries to step to her. This is the perfect time for 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 him to close. Darnell, right. apologies. Perfect mm-hmm. time. There's nobody here. We horseback riding. Right. Let's get it cracking right now. She rebuffs him. Says no. He's like, what the fuck? Right. Like you know what's going on? I'm trying. I'm doing all this shit. Da 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 da. You're not. You're not. You're not receiving me. You're not receiving me. They cut from that to this is the first like show of crazy. Which is, you know, Brandy having a conversation with herself, where she's talking like, "You should, you should give it a try." You, you know, you know <laughs> be willing to da 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 da. Yeah. So it's the it's first. It's fun. the have first. Fun. Yeah. Have fun. Be fun. Be fun. You can do it. Yeah. It's the first indication trust, that she's not trust. just tough, right, and hard. That like there's some psychological shit and, popping. And here's the thing, I love this movie. The writing was bomb. Um. But we, 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 let's not skip over this. We saw him at the beginning of the movie before he met um, uh, Brandy Webb. Mm-hmm. Him doing his rounds, meeting, the, going to the girls' houses that he kicks it with, like players, like like mm-hmm. Bill Bellamy and Players Club, making his rounds. Got so his face right. the different girls that he's dealing with, and the chick with the cleaners, the, the chick with the short dress, like the hairstylist. Yeah. She's sexy as hell. Chick with the kids. Uh, the chick with the kids. Ooh, mm-hmm. uh, her name was. Um, Gwen. Yeah. Yes, Woof. Wendy Robinson. Yeah, he was, he was playing with her feet and everything. <laughs> now, Gwen was sexy as hell. Um, all the women were crazy beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me. And then he goes home to his mom's house, and we see his little sister, Melinda Williams. Uh, mm-hmm. I've always had a thing for her. We talk Young about Melinda. That yeah, Young Melinda. Young Melinda. Soul food. Yeah. Uh, the Mel- wood. Melinda with the bangs. Oh, Melinda <laughs> with the bangs. She's, she's still gorgeous to this day. Yes. Um. So he goes home and shows him he loves his family. Yep. He loves his mom. He stinks some money into his mom. So it's showing that he's a player, mm-hmm. but he's he, he's not too much different he's from a lot of dudes who's young and dumb. Right. He loves his mom. He loves his sister. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He got a good friendship with a dude. And he works hard. Yeah. And he does. He's cool. Good he's solid. Solid. This guy is solid. And then he finds out Mia's coming back home. Yeah. Me is the girl that he grew up with. The one that got away. The one that got away and or the one that he never pursued. Yes. Because they never talked about them actually doing anything. Right, 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 but right. as you get older and you start realizing the type of people that you want in your life, mm-hmm. you, you know, you can tell there's something there. And you can tell because, Instantly. because everybody makes sure to remind him. Me is in town. Me is in town. Right? Is like, true? Yeah. get your shit together. Right, right. We all know how you feel about this girl. Right, you got you've another been chasing look. These women so much that you haven't you've been overlooking them for all these years. They never quite say it in the film. Uh, maybe they just kind of like you know, like maybe hint at it that like Mia left for the military because Darnell was the way that he was. Like, like you're not interested. You're not serious about me. There's nothing for me. Well, they said it. They, 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 they say the that when she was like. So uh, why are you rushing back to the military? She's like, you think I'm going back to the military for a man? Mm-hmm. 
I'm 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 going to the military. I'm in the military because it's right for me. Right. I think okay. she so so it was like, but you can tell when she first gets to the club. Mm-hmm. Then he sees her and she sees him There's that some, she's in love with that yeah, dude. Right. From jump. Right. And he's and, and, and he loves her. Right. And then only know? after he kind of like does her wrong, that's when she decides that she's going to go back to the military. Right. It's almost like there's nothing in for that me case, here. Yes. Yeah. In that case, yes. Yeah, because yeah. she's going to re enlist or right. go back. Right. Because she can get out. I think she did her time mm-hmm. and she can either re enlist and or be done with the military and be done and, and go back to the civilian life. Right. Uh, but because he basically dissed her, um, and we know why, mm-hmm. uh, she's like, okay, well, there ain't no reason for me to stay here. So she you know out. What I'm saying? So yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I loved how they got her when she came around, and I believe they were really friends. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like even playing basketball together, talking, and they've got a rapport. They got a rapport. Yeah, and she knew, and she said, "Do you trust me?" That 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 saying, "I trust you to be who you are." Yeah, you know, that's bars that's to me, man. Bars. She was, "I trust. I know that you like a lot of women. Mm-hmm. I know that you love your family. I know that you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I you, trust you to be who you are. Right." Whew. I don't expect you to be nothing else. Whew. And with that being said, that's not he he took it as a damn. So mm. he, that's 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 how you see me. Right. Like, yes, yeah, that's how I see you. And I'm still here. I see you from I'm who still you your partner. Are and I'm still your partner. Yeah, we here. I love you. It, it was Solid like, so I, analysis. I rock with that. But Solid analysis. She's not slick though. Yeah. Because she purposely had Darnell be there. And mm-hmm. she purposely let old boy Miguel Nunez's character yeah. um come through. And she went in the back, get the door for me. And yeah. she went in the back and got dressed. She wanted the game. She wanted, she wanted to come home mm-hmm. to see if she, if there was something she can do with this dude that she if he had changed, if she had changed, circumstances had changed, one hundred percent. And he was fighting it. And this works great parallel. This movie is paced yes. really well. That's why I said we can't forget about that part. Yes, this is a very important part. They pace it so well with Brandy, Lynn Winfield's character. Don't reveal it too quickly. Which which is good. They've got this other thing going. So it's obvious that like Darnell, that the person for for Darnell is is Mia, and then we reach this critical moment in the film, which is very pivotal scene, very bro. pivotal Come movie on, where uh, Brandy invites Darnell over to the crib, to the crib, and she's in lingerie. She, this is right after she had while he's on his way. Mm-hmm. She's talking to herself in the mirror, talking herself be into trusting, it. Yeah. be fun, mm-hmm. give in, let your walls down, try right. Because even before that, he was doing all this, and she finally he she finally gave in and gave him some attention. Mm-hmm. Went out, was kissing on him a little bit, not letting him smash it, but kissing mm-hmm. on him, and giving herself time to hang out with him. Yeah, even then she said. You make me laugh. I haven't laughed like this in a long time. This w- this was the the chink that he had been trying to get to. He had been looking for a chink in the armor, you know, mm-hmm. a back door, side door, and the, the la leaks and exactly. You know what I'm exactly. Kind of roses. Finally gets to the to the to the piece. Probably the thing that she saw in him from the beginning, which is like he's kind of funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I can't laugh. Mm-hmm. But it gets to it gets to the night at the house. At the house in Malibu. Yes. And this is some of the best filmmaking, it, bro. best acting, yes. best everything. I felt everything she was going through in her head. Yes. Her, on her face. Yes. It was all like she's battling and she's trying to tell him, be honest with him, like, hey, mm-hmm. there's some things about my past mm-hmm. that you don't know about. I have a lot of baggage. Yes. I'm not all the way right. Yes. And I, I'm afraid of what this is. Mm-hmm. That's what all this hard exterior has been is me being afraid of all these, all of you and what you might do to me, basically. And she gives him, I don't know if I would call it a warning. Yeah, or, a warning. But she, I'm taking that warning. Like, she says, I can't, not, I cannot be hurt. It won't be good for it you. It won't be Nick. good. <laughs> I can't be hurt. Come on, bro. Right? So to me, at this point, I know like people will say, that Brandy is the villain yeah, in, exactly. in, in, in the movie. Exactly. I say that Darnell is the villain. Facts. He's the villain. Facts. Right? 
He's yes. the villain because she gives him all of this information. She gives she gives him time and time, yes. information after information, and she gives him several times to take heed to her warnings and bounce and bounce. I'm, she's telling him, "I'm not right. I'm not right. I'm not ready for this. I'm scared of this, and I cannot be hurt. I cannot. Right. And he's he don't care." All he sees is that lingerie. Oh, man. She's smelling good, looking She's good. She's smelling good. It's looking man. good. And then she asks the pivotal question. She 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 she, she uh, faces up to it. Kept building incrementally. Do you want me? Yes. Yeah, I want you. Yeah, yeah. I want you. Uh-huh. Do you need me? Do you, yeah, I need you, girl. I need you, girl. Mm-hmm. I need you. I need you. Yeah. Do you love me? I love you. I said, oh, no. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I said, go. no. You breaking code, yeah, bro. He, T broke it down. He told him. He told him. We don't say they, that. We don't say it. Right. Nah. Boom. Game on. Hey, that's equivalent to a street dude telling this little homie, never pull your pistol unless you're going to use it. Mm-hmm. All right? Never this is important. Player code. Player. This is important. Never say I love you unless you mean it. T lined it all out. This game that we play, there's rules to it. He said it. We don't say that we love. And and Darnell was like, of course. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. He's even more player than T the way. Right, right. And then from there, we head upstairs. We see a very impressive tit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I said, hey, man. I, said, I forgot about that. I said, oh, oh. That's a, I, yeah. I said, the Ariella game is- Yeah, is, a little, is, little saliva. That, oh, is a, that is a strong, oh, natural boob. That's, that's a natural one. That's a natural one. Organic they, 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 they look like- Organic like, games. They, well, yeah. I was like, this is a good-looking uh-huh. boob, right? And, 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 and it was classy, too. Yeah. It was side boob. Too. Yeah, side boob. Side boob. You know, yeah. you know side boob. It was, that, it was solid. And uh, at that point, you know, she is feeling comfortable enough to reveal to Darnell, yeah. I killed my husband. What? Yeah. <laughs> I killed him. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see how he pulled the blanket? That yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But ultimately, he was... Even he played was played that off sucker like. Well, I guess he had it coming, you know. Yeah, he got, got what he deserved, such and such and oh, such. He like, asked no questions. Don't realize he don't see any of this as red flag. He inside that. He inside that wop, bro. Yeah. He don't he see slid any in. of it. He not. He not paying attention. He lost all player. Yeah. He lost all player at that point, man. He thought he was in a regular situation. He comes downstairs, calls T. Aot, man. Mm-hmm. I'm at her house right now. Yeah. Man. I hit that. Yeah. Call me tomorrow. well. Yep. Mm-hmm. Close the refrigerator. There she is. Hey, you hit what? Yeah. Let's oh, go man. back upstairs and fuck, right? No, nah, so, yeah. So, so at this point, you know. Broke a wall down, is. literally. Yep. And figuratively. The next day, she picking him up, whining and dining, got him in the limo. Took him shopping. Took him shopping. You know. Yeah. Your mom was like, you know, got you a rich one this time, right? What you mean, mama? Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I want, I, I want, I want my man to be. You don't even have to like she's she said, she ready to change his whole nothing life. On, uh, yeah. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that little club me anymore. Job, man. I gotta yeah. make my money. I'll buy you a club. Right. <laughs> got enough you money. Buy me a club? Yeah. Like, you know, so now she's all in. Yeah. She's all open. She's sprung. She sprung. Mm-hmm. She's open. We've passed that threshold. Yeah. Right? Um The work's been done. The work's been now done. Now you gotta maintain. Listen. Fine. Go work your little club. You know. Take the car. Take drop the me limo. Off. Drop me off. I'll see you tonight for a candlelit dinner. Yeah. And what does he do? He's like, I'll see if I can come by. It's my birthday. Oh, yeah. well, since it's your birthday, I'm going to come on back. I and never be back. I never be back. And he hanging with, with Mia. With Mia. I said, bro. What? And that's the situation where... That's my first... Is it my first? I think it's probably probably my first discrepancy. Mm-hmm. Like out of all, like be you, you should be more player than that. Yeah, me ain't going nowhere. Right, I can see she said I'm about to leave tonight. Mm-hmm. No, she's not going nowhere. Mm-hmm. She's here for a little bit. Yeah, go handle your business with the with the married rich chick with the limo and the driver. I mean, I mean with the with the not married, but the with the rich chick that mm-hmm. got the got the uh, 
the birthday right yeah. now, bro. Yeah. But this branch you up with all this, all these fancy ass clothes. Mm-hmm. Like, why you gotta? St- she just told you, nigga. You ain't forget, right? Tripping. Still take me. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. What you doing with this limo? I just came by to say what's up to you. Give yeah. her a hug and a kiss. Tripping. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I gotta go back to work. Mm-hmm. Work on this chick I, I'm dealing with. Yep. Go home, smack her down. Happy birthday. Happy birthday cake and all that. Birthday mm-hmm. sex, all that. And then come back home. Roll out. And I feel like. Well, even though some players do that, they 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 smash and lose interest too fast, mm-hmm. and it's not a it's, it's a too abrupt switch. Yeah, that, you that, gotta that's slowly why, switch off. That's why they be triggered. Yeah, that's why they be triggered. Yeah, you know that, that that's 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 too unplayer for him. That's a young player mm-hmm. uh, uh, issue. Yeah, he seems like he's he's a not the older dude, but he's like a late twenties. He mm-hmm. should by that time he should know. You gotta manage your you gotta manage your chicks better, bro. How does that phrase go? Like, you know, um lose sight of the trees in, in the forest, right? Or some some variation or version of that. Right. Smashing was his only objective, okay. right? So he's tunnel vision, and he's tunnel vision all the way in, literally, you mm-hmm. know, to, to yeah. the smashes and all the way out. Right. When he's downstairs, he's not thinking about what she just said. What he just said, he's talking about what she did. I won. I smashed. Let me call the homie. Like I Let said, let me I call would. the homie. So even while she's out in the in the limo, he's not taking any of this to consideration. Stays out all night, all night, all night. And then I forget the is it the breakfast scene that's after, or yes, or no, 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 or. Well, no, no, no. He the comes, cake. He the comes, cake. She, she. In the morning. In the morning, she leaves the cake with the knife in it. He's so stupid. He go. You took her limo mm-hmm. with the limo driver in the, it. He's sleeping in the car. <laughs> you know, the limo driver has a yes, phone, a yes. cell phone. Probably. Where are you guys at? Oh, we're here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Boom. Game on. Game on. Not even game on yet. Like I see you. Not even watch this. Game on yet. Yeah. Like you know, cake dagger. I'm, all right, I'm going to break it off. He think he going to break it off, shows up at the house. You know what? We could be cool. We could just know? be cool, such um, and such and such. Sorry such about such. that. I'm talking about last mm-hmm. night. Got a little bit. Sound like one of his stand-up comedians. Crazy, deranged. deranged. Yeah. Right? Hence why he wrote this movie. Right, right. Right. She shows up the next day at his house making the bacon. Burning that shit. Burning the I shit. I should have ate it, though. But she trying. But trying. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's crazy. It's neurotic. She's trying to do a good thing. And it's all, it ain't all good, but it really becomes all bad when he shoves her into the wall. wall. Boom. I get the fuck out of my house. Here we go. Yeah. Here And everything for me, it wasn't to stay out all night. You left me hanging on my fucking birthday. But that hands on me shit is the moment. He could have handled that better. He, she was already pissed off. Mm-hmm. The dagger and the cake. Yeah. He came back to her house. She's on poolside. Mm-hmm. She's in the pool. He he brings her the knife. Yep. And he thinks it's cool. Well, you know what? Maybe we should just be friends. You know, mm-hmm. I don't think the same thing. We should be friends. It'd be cool. Like that, that shit has probably worked for him a thousand times. Yes. yes. A thousand times. All the girls, they ain't crazy. They mad. They yeah. sad, but they're not crazy. Right. So she said, cool. It's better that way. All right, cool. He, th- he thinks it's a clean slate. No, it's nigga. all scot free. Right. He wakes up to mm-hmm. morning time, breakfast, and I, I smell bacon. There she is. Boom. There she and is. And then he, I feel like he could have, he could have uh, fixed that situation. He he made her mad. He missed her birthday, but he could have made up for that. Mm-hmm. She was still there for that. Right. But him throwing her up against the, the wall. Nah. You, but you, and and you and up. it goes back to him being a villain. He was never really interested in her. Right. At all. Right. He 100%, even though, you know, we see him work for it and earn it and do all of these different things. Chase. There's no hidden romance here. There's no, you know, as soon as we turn the corner, there's a relationship thing here. Right. I am manipulating you. Yes. Right? I am mm. manipulating you. And I think he handles it incorrectly because this whole time, he thinks he's still in control. He right. thinks he's in control. Kicking her out the house. Kicking her out the house. You, you know, up. we could just be friends. He doesn't realize that he's not in control. He doesn't realize that she's been in control this the entire time. time. 
This whole right? time. And when he puts hands on her, oh, that's the trigger. You just like everybody. You just, you just like you just like the last thing I got killed. This is what I do you, when yeah. they put hands on me. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is what I do. Okay. Brick. Mm-hmm. Brick. <laughs> Brick. <laughs> Tires. Tires. Mm-hmm. Self, I call the police on you. Yeah. You know, self abuse. Man. You know, Mia. just she on said, it. Hey, baby. Mm-hmm. She turned around that in the hospital chair, hospital bed. Yep. Yeah. Would you, solid. Would you have still come if you knew it was me? Yeah. Solid. Yeah. So she's a solid, you know, psychopath here. Right. Smart. Smart, believable. You know, like mm-hmm. I can I can visibly see the trauma. Right. You know what I mean? And everything that happened. First kind of like nitpick though. We we talked about this off air. Martin Lawrence's eye. Now, I had a couple of theories about it's not the pink eye, it's just a blood vessel. Kind yeah. of, it's a blood vessel kind of thing. And so I was wondering, like, was it budget restrictions where it's just like, listen, we can't afford to be off schedule. Right. We can't wait three weeks for, right. you know, your eye to clear up. We got to shoot. Martin is like, I'm doing this on my own budget. Or was it something that happened? Did they shoot the movie out of order and do the ending first? With all like the the fighting and da 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 da, and he got hit and the 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 blood vessel burst in, and then they shot the the beginning part later. Yeah. But it is noticeable. I I never <coughs> noticed it until yeah. last night. Yeah, I said, that "Nigga, he got his whole eyes red." Whole eyes. And then it red. wasn't. And then it was. And yep. it wasn't. I think they shot it out of order. Yes. I think they shot the ending first, probably because they had access to the the home. Right. So they had to do everything that they had with the home first. And I think that, like, that blood vessel in his eye got burst mm-hmm. during the fight, during, during the action like stuff yeah. or whatever. They went back. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just a slight, like, continuity thing. I said, huh. You know, that, like, I think that it was just like, we just, we can't go back and, and reshoot director, the shit. He's like, nah, we're going to shoot it. We're we can't shoot reshoot it. Nobody will notice. makeup on You can say it was just swollen up here. Yeah, yeah. makeup on it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, nobody will do it. But yeah, I mean, uh, up until that point, like, Lynn is, is, she's like putting up 50, right? In terms yeah. of acting is concerned. Oh my gosh. She's such Hell a good yeah. actor. Hell yeah. She brings the better part of Martin's acting. Facts. Because Martin plays an angry what the fuck is happening to me much better than he does the 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 smooth player player from the mm-hmm. Himalayas, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just and it, it it goes down. She sets the club on fire. That's wild. Wild. That's wild. wild. Um, and then ultimately, you know, takes him hostage. Mm-hmm. About to kill him. About to shoot him. Yeah. And she was serious too. As a heart, she shot him. Step in the tub. She did I'm shoot him. No damn tub. Yeah. I'm not getting in no damn tub. Mm-hmm. Boom. Shot him. Now, how does how does T uh know where she lives? That's a continuity like kind of plot point. Maybe Star 69, because he called from her house. Mm-hmm. And Star 69, maybe you can check the phone yeah. calls from Because it's clear they don't know exactly where they're going. Right. Because they're like, it's, it's up here somewhere. I think I think we're almost there. Three three three. Yeah, some, some, something. So um, you know, so they get there. It, you know, it all kind of like, you know, goes down, you know, saves the day. They uh-huh. end up in the pool. He ends up in the hospital. Um, what did you think about, like, the ending of the movie? Like, where they show, you know, Brandy, they, they do the Martin narration, and then they show her on the roof. Do you do we think she's out? They're like, did they think they were going to shoot a sequel? That's what I'm saying, like, to yeah. be continued type shit. Yeah. Like a, like a, like a superhero movie or something. Yeah, like this, like, this shit ain't over. He said, right. you might want to just make sure she okay before you let her ass out. Yeah. She's like. And then the shot is her on the roof, not incarcerated, free. So, right. they, so they set it up like maybe there'd be a, a sequel. Right. Where she kind of comes for him. But all in all, man. Man. Come on, man. Characters, dope. Man. Uh, the, message, the messages were dope. Mom's um, Mrs. Wright was telling him about himself. Smitty had to sit down and talk to him two different ones, mm-hmm. two different times. That was dope. Um, you got to get, you got to have those type of scenes. Yeah. Those type of scenes are important to kind of push along the the, the plot mm-hmm. you know, or the story. Um, an OG dude like Roger E. Mosley's character, Smitty, it was yep. like, hey, uh, I used to be the man back in the day. So you think I ain't the man because I, I only have one woman there? Right. 
Right, right. You know what I'm saying this is this is what this is what makes this movie work, Ja. Like it's not heavy handed. The lessons are not you know heavy handed. Right, they're smooth. They're subtle. They all feel. It's it not all over feels, the top. It's not over the top. It all feels organic. In conversation is, is what you would say. Right. Even mm. Brandy's response is not over the like. It's extreme. She 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 exhibits extreme behaviors. Right. But it's not over the top. You understand. At every single moment, why Brandy is doing what she's doing? You fucked with the wrong one. You fucked with the wrong one. You, like he's you throwing fucked around and found out. She changed. That was she it. Was the, was the, that was it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's on. Watch he, this. He, he pushed the button on her. Yeah. She. I mean, it's believable. The only stuff that like maybe pulls away from the movie, and it does it really, is like Martin's Martin stuff. For me, yeah. you know, the, 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 ah, my car, you know, oh, Gina, no, like that type of oh, shit. Damn. Yeah. Ah, damn. I ain't got no wheels on the car. Like, you know, that type of stuff. Then it broke me down in front of the precinct. Yeah, like that type of shit. Like, and doing that in front of the police department. That's, yeah. That's fake. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's, that's Martin cooking, no. flying, yeah. like you said earlier. He being his own director. Being his own director. Um, You don't need any of that stuff for this movie to work. No. You don't need no. any of like the traditional Martin gags, where like she kicked him in the nuts. He's walking off funny. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, now that, and and that and that's funny. It's, probably, it's, it's, it's hilarious. funny. Yeah. Um, but this movie didn't need to be funny right. because they were doing everything else so well. Right. They were doing a great psychological thriller, really well. Right. We didn't need jokes. Mm-hmm. We didn't need first of all people were already going to come out cuz Martin was in it. Right. Right? In some respects it could be a a missed opportunity for Martin. Yeah. Because he pulled this off dramatically pretty well. And this right. could have led a, a whole lane for him to do more dramatic Stuff like that. parts like Chris Rock pulled it off. Right. Like Chris Rock, you know, did did a lot of DeFargo, you know, did a lot of like really good, you know, did Saw, was able to do like a lot of good he kind was of. Larry Hitt. Saw was a. Yeah, you know. But, I, uh, but he was there. Yes. He wasn't just the funny yes. man. Right. True, or or, true, true. or the funny guy in the circumstance. Right. So I didn't I don't think like the movie needed all of the funny stuff. I mean it worked because Martin is funny. Yes. Um, but it was deep. they were doing just fine. Right. Like on some thriller type shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe him too. I think he's a dope actor. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love the I love the conversation. The scene we talked about earlier about her asking him, like, basically, I'm giving you I'm giving you an opportunity to be out. Mm-hmm. I'm giving you an out. Yes. I can't be hurt. I cannot. It be won't hurt. be good for you if I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. A woman and she got tears coming out of her eyes. Yeah, I'm like, come on. This bro. is some real shit. She's bruised, battered, and this she's done. This is some real shit. You can't slide it. I, I'm not smashing. Yeah, I've been at a girl's house one time. Not one time, a few times, but like in this particular uh, situation, I, went, I was at this girl's house. Mm-hmm. I just met her, and um, we didn't even go on a date yet. It's on some cuddle season shit. Like mm-hmm. you know, I just came to her house, came to her crib, and um, I'm feeling she had the, those nice little sweats that was just tight enough, loose enough to be sweats and comfortable, mm-hmm. but tight enough yep. to show the, yep. the frame, the yammed up situations. And she was sitting there with the low cup top, and we ended up talking. You know, I'm 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 not playing nice guy because I am a nice dude. But I, we was just talking about life and mm-hmm. what you do. And she was in the navy. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I want to get too more details. Yeah. But uh, um, she ended up breaking down. And crying about a situation because she had just broke up with her dude, and they broke up only because he like, like disappeared and mm-hmm. it wasn't responding to her for like a like three, four, five days, and she got she broke up with him and she was upset about it. And she started talking about her mom and shit like that, mm-hmm. and she started crying. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, I'm thinking I got condoms in my pocket. I got right. condoms, condoms in my pocket. Right. I'm like, I'm about to smack these down. Initially, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nah, I can't do that. Can't do it. I can't. Can't do this it. This is a person that I probably could still. Let her cry on my shoulder and end up in some drawers that night. Right. But I was like, nah, this yeah. ain't the best. I end up smacking later on. Yeah. Like a year or two later. Right. Honestly, but, but not at, now. at that point in time, vulnerable. That wasn't the time to do it. Too vulnerable. Mentally, yeah. Mentally. That wasn't the time to do it. She was he, not. I was too player. Yeah. And I was and I worked on my favor. Mm-hmm. He wasn't player enough. Yeah. He should have, he should have just said, you know what, this ain't this ain't it for me. There's, this ain't for me. There's a I think a gut check. That most decent guys, even guys that that that's that smash a lot, like make, you know, like one, like is she too inebriated, right, to be able to properly consent, right? right. Some guys don't give a fuck about that, right. The second part is, especially like when you know why. There's a couple of times where 
I was like, this girl is really into me. Right. This is not about sex. She wants to be my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying I won't be her boyfriend. I've just left myself a lot of convenient outs. Right. You know, I'm very busy. I'm focused on my career. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 but I really like hanging out, such and such and such. Right, so if we like ever time. get to the, you know, the boyfriend, girlfriend, I've got four or five built-in established exits, right? Right. But there's a decision that goes like, if I smash her, she's not going to be able to just walk away. Right. Yeah. And I'm, which is what you talked about, like the slow letdown. Right, mm-hmm. which is what Martin could have did three, four yeah. months. There were, you know, and some guys was like air traffic control. I got four or five different birds that's coming yeah. down, and I'm just bringing plan them in it. slowly. Plan the exit. Plan the exit. Don't just get up and walk out. Then plan the exit, and then said the thing you're not supposed to say. Yeah, bro. You know, which is which is. I've never I said you. that. I, not I've not never when I never mean that. it. Oh yeah, I said it when I meant it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but yeah. No, I not not, the panties. I never, I never said that I would you know, that I wanted to be in a relationship. If I wasn't ready to be in a relationship, Rash. I never said that. Mm-hmm. Um, I stayed away from that. I said that one time and didn't realize I wasn't ready to be on. Right. I thought I was. That's how. I, that's only, I've never said it like knowing I wasn't, but it said I was. I thought I was. And I was like, and that's a, in honest, hindsight, I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. Because I wasn't moving. I, my, my intentions were this, but my, my actions were that. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't ready. Fuck. Yeah. And I told her I was. Yeah. And there's some yeah. girls out there, man, that's hella red flag. Yeah. Um, you know, like be careful how you move because they've mm-hmm. kind of shown you the card. Yeah. Um she showed him the card for sure. Yeah. Let's get into some awards. Let's get into some awards. I man. think some of these are very easy. Oh yeah. MVP. MVP. Ooh we. MVP. Um That's tough. MVP. Brandy Webb. Yeah. Brandy Webb. This movie does not work. No. If she's not in it. No. This movie is not as good as it is no. if she's not in it. No. Everything about this movie works because of her. She's all star performance. All star. <coughs> all star performance. Another All-Star. actress, and we've seen this movie. The only play person out. I would say is you. I, I mentioned it already. And the only person as, uh, that could play this. Right. Part. Other than that, I don't see nobody else. We've seen versions, especially in black movies. Mm-hmm. We've seen versions of this psychotic ex girlfriend, mm-hmm. or you know, you know, yeah. start bad love, love gone wrong, right? But never executed this well. No, like without this, because this movie doesn't have a big budget. Shit, right. we've only got like three or four sets in in the whole movie. Dang, you know, right. when you think about it, like there's there's only three or four places that they actually are right. in the entire film. Um, she she pulls it off massively. She pulls it off, and I love the way that the the progression of them getting closer, and then she finally gave him the buns. Mm-hmm. That's realistic. Very. I, I feel like she put her wall up initially. And he broke through him. Yeah. And even when he broke through the wall, she was still like, "Okay, there's another level before we. I give mm-hmm. you. I give you the yams. I can't be hurt. Yeah. That was a very. That was a very important scene to me, as a from a from from a viewer's point and from a writer's point. I need. I need to drive home the fact that this guy had a choice. Yes. That, that she's that not she just this crazy chick. Yes. She's not this crazy yes. chick. Now she was wrong at the end because she was trying to kill him, and that and he didn't deserve to be die, to, right. to, to be killed. He, right, right, right. He didn't, right. De- he didn't deserve to die, but he deserved what she 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 did. He deserved to be fucked with. Damn near everything he got. Yeah, because I gave you an opportunity. Yeah. I told you outside of telling you mm-hmm. I'm crazy. I'm right. telling you I can't be hurt. It's not gonna be you good for you. Can't get away with this. Right, and then and then mid stroke. Which yeah. is it was just foul on her part. Mm-hmm. Cause you can tell a nigga, you can tell a nigga that you killed you killed your <laughs> husband, he gonna still smash. <laughs> right. He's not going nowhere. I'm gonna right. still beat the brakes down. Right, right, you know right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He mid-stroke. She's like, yeah. I somebody wanna tell you, no, 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 yeah, no, mm-hmm. no, I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. My husband was a very mm-hmm. uh abusive man and I killed him. Yeah. He in the panties. hmm He's in the drawers. hmm And you tell him that. And he's like, he he was like, What? Yeah. Hey, I killed my even husband. then, even then, he could have gotten out. Scott free if he left right then. She asked him, "Do you hate me?" Yeah, he could have been like, "Hey, I wouldn't expect you to tell me that." That's a he could have said, "Oh, 
Yeah, that's a I, I, that's, I that's a red line for me. for me. I think we might be. I think we need to take it back. We need to slow down and learn each other more. Yeah, I didn't know this about you. You dropped the you dropped yep. the bomb on me. Yep. All of those were she acceptable. She still could have been upset about it yeah. and still tripped, but I don't think that she would It have. wouldn't have been like it was. Yeah. yeah. She's she's the MVP. Easy. Right. Easy, easy, easy. MVP. Um, he doesn't become a better person mm-hmm. without her. Without her. Uh, this is like top 10 oh my. female black actress performances all time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All time. Yes, sir. Right? Um, without having to do what other black actresses who have done great performance have done. Mm-hmm. She's not a powerful character. Right. She's not a motivational character. Right. She's not a character, you know, overcoming great obstacles to, right. the, you know, getting to college she's, or doing A lot of her shit. thing is responsive to yes, his character. Yes, She is probably the most interesting psychological female character, black female character ever on screen. That like Man. like like that's how high because I'm yeah. putting it there because that's what she did, you know, in a very simple story, mm-hmm. just a fantastic performance, performance dynamic, dynamic, and saying and and we saw every I think we saw every stage that a woman mm-hmm. goes through is so relatable because a yeah. lot of women who aren't they're not they're not crazy but yeah. A lot of women go battle with themselves like, man, I like this dude a lot, but let me let me let me control my feelings and let me protect my feelings yeah. and not get too involved in this dude. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of going down the same path. I'm afraid of 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 meeting another guy that's gonna do me dirty like my last guy did. I'm not I'm cool. I like this guy a lot because we horseback riding and everything. I'm mm-hmm. he didn't drove in my limo and all that, but I can't put myself in this position again to have to kill another motherfucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what she was saying. I can't be hurt. I can't. I, can't, it's not, I cannot you, be hurt. Please do not make me kill you. Cannot be hurt. Please don't make me kill I you, Darnell. I hope you're not fucking around. Right. I hope. I'm. I'm telling you. Is there something on the couch? Is yeah. there somebody else? Is yeah. There anybody else you got eyes for? It? Yeah. Hey, girl, I ain't been able to think about nobody else but you. Listen, I cannot be hurt. Great fucking line. That's I cannot line. be hurt. I cannot be hurt. What's interesting is, like in a parallel universe. Like seeing Angela Bassett play this character and seeing Lynn play the character that Angela Bassett Bernadette, played in, in Bernadette. Bernadette in Waiting to Excel. I'd love to that's see why I said that's it. some wild shit. For one, they look alike. Yeah. And for two, their chops are just as strong it's as just as strong. Because Man. because Angela Bassett in um Waiting to Excel goes over the top with her extreme. Mm-hmm. It's big. It's it's combustive. Yeah. It's fire. Burning the it's car burning. Up. It's curves. Da, 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 da. Like, I feel like Lynn would have played it much more subtly. Mm-hmm. Same anger. Mm-hmm. Same, you know, such and such. No such. yelling. Right, right. Oh, God. Um, hey, baby. How you doing? Yeah. Your mm-hmm. car's right outside with your clothes. It's on fire. Uh-huh. I cannot be hurt. Right? I cannot be hurt. <laughs> Angela Bassett in It's a Thin Line, I think it's going to be much more combustive with, with her and Darnell. Angela ba- Bernadette wasn't crazy. Yeah. She was pushed to that. She was pushed to she that. She was like, okay. And she was acting irrational. Mm-hmm. I think she was a- acting out of character. Yeah. She wouldn't even take a shower. She wouldn't even dress. Maybe right. she was just staying at home. She had no job. Mm-hmm. She had no life after that. She was just sitting there. Right. She cut her hair, finally got her act together. Mm-hmm. She was out of character. Brandy knows she's fucked up. And she's tried to, hey, bro, I'm not, I'm different. <laughs> she knows she's I'm fucked different. up. I'm Darnell, different. I'm different. I'm trying to tell you, I cannot be hurt. I keep to myself. She said it. I keep to myself. I stay away. I don't I trust stay you. Away. I, don't, I don't know you. I don't fuck I'm, with anybody. Just leave me alone. But here comes Darnell. That's why he's the villain. He he's comes the villain, in, bro. He comes in and it's just it's, like... Don't and she gives him every opportunity. And the That's nigga's last name really is Wright. Great. Darnell Wright. No, nigga, you was wrong, mm-hmm. dead wrong, and you yep. almost got killed over it. Yep. And you was even wrong with Mia. No, he he eventually tried to get away with get, get away from Mia to save her. I get yeah, it. Yeah, tried. He cared for me. And we saw And even then not being honest. Right. Still hasn't learned yeah. that like this be honest. all of this dishonesty is leading to some bullshit. Right. He could have easily told Mia, what's the fuck I'm dealing with? Yeah, she could have helped. His his, his ego, his ego was his ego, that. right? Yeah, least yeah. valuable player, LVP, Ooh. LVP, Nikki, Nikki, the sister, cousin. the cousin, the cousin. Yeah, um, I thought that uh, 
She Miguel, was detective. Oh, Miguel. No. Yeah, yeah. No. Reggie. No. Because uh, Miguel, Reggie. Yeah. Reggie's valuable, I guess, because it, it, it helps her character. It helps show you what type of woman Mia is. Mm -hmm. That she's desirable. Reggie is not a bad looking dude, dressed very nice mm -hmm. to the point where Reggie, uh, uh, Darnell was like, damn, nigga, you dress, mm -hmm. you, you fly as fuck. Right. He was a gentleman. He came, he, he liked her. Um, a little, a little, a little cocky with the, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The, the Porsche, you know what I'm saying? But he, he, he was well to do. He had money and he was all for her. It didn't show that he was a player at all. Yeah. It showed that he was really into Mia. Right. And he said, I hope to, I hope to spend more time with you. Yeah. And she was like, let's keep, let's keep it friendship. He was like, damn, I, I'll it's, try. It's almost like I wish they, they would have gave him some snappier responses because from the very first time we see him, like Martin cuts his legs off. And we just and he's a buster from that King. point, Chicken King, right? So at that point, no matter like how handsome he is, how what we know, he's the beta. I think and that's Darnell's what, the alpha. That's why. That's why um, uh, Mia asked Darnell to answer the door mm -hmm. while she went in and changed. She yeah. wanted to see who's going to win in this line on line fight. Very this good male point. line to male line. Very good point. Like, damn, I like Miguel. Yeah, I like Reggie, but he ain't the one for me because. Even though he's for me, he has eyes for me, I really love this other dude that's not ready yet. Got you. You know what I'm okay. saying? So I think they had to play him as, it, it, had he been a little bit stronger, mm -hmm. then there's no reason to not go with Reggie. You yeah. got to go with Reggie. Yeah. Like, you know a, like a legitimate foil yeah. for Darnell. Like, I, I never felt like that's Even, what he was. That's why they had to, that's why in the line where he, uh, where, um, he had, her, he, had he had just punched Zeus mm -hmm. and his hand was messed up and she's like, you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, why don't you just go hang out with your chicken king? Yeah, and got up and walked off mm -hmm. on, on Mia, and she Mia was like, "What? what are you? Right? Don't let them, don't let them get to you, girl." Mm -hmm. uh, that's what that was Reggie's line to her. Yeah, on some yeah. girlfriend shit. Like he's a buster, not really yeah. a buster, but low key, he had buster qualities. You I know get what I'm it. Saying? The the only reason why he's my LVP is because we already know Mia is all in on Darnell. We didn't really need him. We don't need him. Yeah, right. Like True. like we don't need him. To be a part of this, we already know Mia wants to be with Darnell. Darnell doesn't have to do anything that relates to Reggie to make himself look good and appropriate. He doesn't have to step up or, or compare. He doesn't have any competition. So it's just like, me could just be back in town. He could have had the same kind of dynamics the, like 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 he used to have with, with Pam, with, with the cousin. Right? Like, you know, they could always been together and yeah. he always could have been like, hey, BDB, or da 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 da. Hey, BDB. <laughs> so, so for me, Reggie's my LVP. Even more than Nikki? I feel like Nikki was just a hater. Yeah. Uh -huh. But she was there just to family, you know? Yeah, she just So Mia wasn't always solo. She was. But maybe she she's was, unnecessary as well. She's unnecessary. And, and, but I think that's what I'm saying. Reggie, we had to see, we had to, he had to be there to make Darnell jealous. Mm hmm. To yep. make Darnell get his act together. Yeah. Think, oh, she's gonna end up with the chicken king. Yeah. And but Nikki was just the hating, the bitter girlfriend. Now I can see she was a cousin that was like, hey, I love you, cousin, but mm -hmm. and I like him. I like Darnell too. We all grew up together, yeah. but he's just he's gonna be what he is. He's gonna yeah. be what he is. Yeah, so man. I don't think yeah. you should chase around. That's different. Yeah. She was just a uh, just like uh he ain't shit. Ain't, he no ain't good shit. nigga. Yeah. Like, damn, man. We yeah. going to the mall. She didn't right. like T either. She <laughs> right. liked nobody. She liked nobody. She that's a very so, accurate character. So of, so if, if if Nikki is really is a hater or does he really care for her cousin is looking out for her? Yeah. Or because he just be a hater. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because the mom, mom wasn't a hater. Mom was like, boy, I love you. I, I need you to know. Get your shit together. Dude, get your shit together, bro. Nikki also has like, she lives in the community. So she's seen this Darnell just running amok. Yeah. Like, for like, so she's not a hater. Yeah, she's not a she hater. She has reason to she's feel the way she reason. feels. She's yeah. been knowing this nigga probably just as long as he uh, He probably tried to smash while Mia was out of come town. On, come on, man. <laughs> right. And I, I like how they I like how they um built the the T and um T and Darnell's character. T was willing to Die for, her. yeah. Die for his boy, yeah. He, she, they, they heard gunshots. He went. He tried to go. Oh, he was still with it. Yeah, I'm with it. Um, uh, he took he took me out there. I'm gonna drive out there to Malibu mm -hmm. and we gonna find my boy. Yeah, our partner, our partner. Um, uh, even when he made, when he saw me at the at the house, at the at the club, he picked her up. Like they, they all family. Mm -hmm. They, they all family. partners. Yep. Even even uh, even what do you call her? Uh, Pe uh, Peachy girl. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. what's up, Peachy girl? What's yeah, up, what's up to you? I'm like, right. Like she, but she, so she was just a little bitter, a little, yeah. a little bitter, a little, little, little bitter. You know what I'm saying? But I love her character, I, and I think she was necessary, but she's least necessary. Got you. you know what I'm saying again. You know, we we're going through the motions. We both love this movie. Oh yeah. Any overacting awards? Of course. Who, who, who gets the hundred percent? Martin Lawrence. Yeah. Martin Lawrence overacts all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. Yeah. He was really- I love it, though. That's what I grew up on. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It works for him. I think he's the most overacting superstar mm-hmm. ever. I think he overacts more than anybody. And his angry, his angry is authentic, right? Yeah. Like, like, like everything- He does it so well. He does it so well. He's saying, mm-hmm. get out of here. Step, you, know you know what I mean? Yeah. But with the smooth move. Um, hey, Tyrone, man, what the hell is you doing, man? Yeah. So you make my dick hard. Right. <laughs> That's my that was my vote. Like, you know. <laughs> so, Paul God, like my you know, uh, God rest his soul. Yeah. But anytime Tiny Lister yeah. is in a movie, he's 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 overacting. He's winning yes. an overacting award. Come on, baby. Come on, <laughs> so, baby. A bit much. Yeah. Um how would you recast this? Ooh. Ooh. How would you recast this now? Oh man. Dang. Martin is a, a very hard person to replace. Yeah. I did there hasn't been another person out like him on screen. Mm-hmm. Comedy, actor. There's been several babies, there's several copycats, carbon copies of Martin. Mm-hmm. You know, he's probably the most probably the most mimicked comedian yeah. personality in the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the nineties, early two thousands, every all, all the I've been doing can't stand up longer than ten years, and I've seen so many Martin right characters, so many Martin type comics on stage. Even myself, like I even not necessarily on stage because we we two different statures and my personality mm-hmm. is different, but like even like my my comedy is is very similar to his. I'm very influenced by Martin, right? So it's hard to pick another person that I can think of that's oh yeah, he he's that caliber of 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 performer, yeah. Let's get him out there. Nah. Mar- so who would I replace Martin with? Darnell Wright? hmm I should have thought about this before we had this this, this podcast today. Cause you know who would be interesting for me? Who? Because I'm a big fan of his. Your boy, my boy, Barry Brewer. Yes, indeed. Because he's very Martinish. Barry Barry is sure. funny enough to be funny. Uh-huh. He's handsome and smooth enough mm-hmm. to kind of believe, you know, he's he's a player. Yes. His he he doesn't take his comedy to like the same levels that Martin does. He can though. But yeah. he can be very expressive right. and very, you know, such and such. So I think he'd be interesting as a as a web remake of For a For sure. Line. And and um I'm glad you said it. That's why I didn't say it. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you said it so it wouldn't seem like I'm biased because that's right. my brother. And I agree a hundred percent. He he would be the new um he would be the reincarnated, the recasted uh Darnell Wright. Yeah. And um Um trying to think of who and then Chris Brown would be uh T. T that's a sure. good call. That's a great Chris call. Brown would be T. For I don't sure. think that I don't think I spent two days thinking about who I would try to recast as Brandy. I've got nothing. Brandy, ooh, I've Brandy. got nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Lynn Whitfield. I know, yeah. I, know. I, I, I've got. There's nobody that I think could pull it off. That would be in this film. Nobody on the web. Nah, there's somebody. There's some. Huh. Watch that! You know, I I say her so much. I try to yeah. I, try, I try to not say her so much, but watch Jazzy for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, cause she uh, I don't know. I mean, I do know her personally, not that well though. I met her years ago. Yeah, but uh, she can pull off crazy for sure. She's beautiful. She looks like Lynn Whitfield. Yeah. Um, she has it the w- chops. It would be a but, crazy cast. But you would have to that as a director. I would be directing this. I would have to sit down with her, and 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 we would have to rehearse. I think you'd rehearse. have to see a lot of people. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't just snatch her up and grab her, but off top, mm-hmm. off my, my first mind would be I watch Jazzy, because mm-hmm. um, she has you got to have layers in your layers in your performance. Like, mm-hmm. For example, I feel like Lynn Wilfield has three different types of excuse me, mm-hmm. three different types of uh um of emotions. Yeah, her sad. She has three types of sad. Yeah, 
her, yeah. her, 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 her glee. Yeah, she's laughing when, when she was fitting him for the, the montage. When uh-huh. she was fitting him for his suits, uh-huh. he walked off and she they, she laughed. Yeah, that's that was one. Another one is when she was a uh, um um. Doing the horseback riding, she has different three different, yeah, layers, three different layers of emotions. Layers. When, she's, yeah. when she's hurt and sad, we see if she's angry. Mm-hmm. It's, it's 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 a smirk there when she's mm-hmm. angry. When mom's pulled up and she's like, "Oh, you got your mom out here, yeah. mama's boy." Yeah, like that was sinister. Like she has sinister. She has so many different categories of different. I mean, different layers of different in, in different categories, and that's hard to that's hard to find. Let me tell you. Let me give you another example. Of how good a performance it is, I couldn't tell if this was planned or if she had broke. So remember, she so when she knees Martin in, in the nuts, and he's kind of like chicken walking and mm-hmm. kind of going upstairs, and, she's and she takes a beat to laugh at him. Right? Mm-hmm. I can't tell if she's laughing at what Martin did, and she just broke character, or if she's finding glee and humor. In from the pain. pain, right? I can't tell which one is which because both work. It right. works that, that he's just so funny on set that she takes a beat to laugh but stays in the mm-hmm. scene, which is what great actors do. Or if she was going to laugh regardless, right? Because ha ha ha, look it, at you, yes. you know, kind of thing, the idiot. Yeah. No, when she's making bacon in the morning, mm-hmm. and and he's like, he's cussing her out. He's he's yelling. He's frowning. She's laughing. She's like, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm trying mm-hmm. to get better. And he and she went from smiling to where he was like, get the fuck out of my house the first time. And she stopped smiling and got serious. Yeah. But I, I don't know if her if, if if the smile before was her playing or did she really believe that she was going to make him breakfast and everything everything right. was going to be okay. Right. Because uh, she's like I said, she, her, everything is so subtle with her, and you don't know if she's acting mm-hmm. or if she's breaking character because it seems so natural. It seems so natural, bro. My best pick for that um, is an actress. I don't know if you guys know her. I'm very close to her, so this is my personal bias. But Danielle Monet Truitt. So Danielle, mm-hmm. she's on Law & Order, Special Victims Unit. Um, she's got the chops mm-hmm. that I think could be could be good. Like, you know, like, you know, kind of mm-hmm. like looks the part. Marnay. Got the range, yeah. Danielle. But again, it's 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 really about like bringing in just a series of of actresses and to see like who can pull this off. Oh, Monet, yeah, uh-huh. who can do it? You got uh, any, got any thoughts? We talked about watch Jazzy. Ooh, I would have to see her. Yeah, but she looks. I can see that. She looks great. She plays a good mean. You know what I mean? She, mm-hmm. like, you know, you got to be able to like pull mean off. To, right. to, you know, to, which is the first part, like yes. before before the the, the contrast. Mm-hmm. Between, you know, which, which is which is an example of of the work that she, that um that she does here. It's very easy to go happy than mean. We've seen that happen a lot of times in movies. Right, you know, super happy, but to go from mean mm-hmm. to happy, right, to back to oh man, that's she she jumps she jumps back and forth so easy, right. So it's so it's so uh, fluent. Last thing before we get to What's the ranking. Happening? You know, sometimes we go, you know, what do we think happened next? Crystal Ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, they set this movie up like it like it was a potential sequel. Right. If you were just to brainstorm or elevator pitching, what would you do with a Thin Line sequel? Um, would you keep the same characters? You know, would you... Um. I think that uh, this is not the first, or this is not the last problem that Mia and Darnell are going to have. Right. He's still going to battle with other women, mm-hmm. not to the degree mm-hmm. of Lynn. But Lynn, uh, Lynn either escapes from prison, I mean, not Lynn, um, uh, Brandy, mm-hmm. or she gets let go early. Yeah. Um, and she manipulates, she manipulates her way. Maybe she has a judge in her pocket or some shit. Mm-hmm. Um, because she knows has dirt on certain people. And like she's, she's rich. She's rich. So she, she knows people. Right. I feel like she does. She does. Does she do something to Reggie? She hits to, Reggie in the head. No, no, not Reggie T. No, no. I'm talking about this. In, in the oh, oh, in the sequel, does to, she, to, to does she get, go after? Yeah. To, to, to get to uh, get back to Darnell Mia, Val, Mia in Val, mm-hmm. um, back to Mia, mm-hmm. which in, in which in, indirectly gets back at mm-hmm. at uh at Darnell. Um, it's interesting. 
I think she's just something to her sister, the little sister. You know that was so. So my thought was, was that she kind of turns the sister out. He can be friends the sister. He friends the sister and kind of like starts poisoning the sister's mind. Mm. Not necessarily about Darnell, but, but the about... guy that she's with. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, you know, like almost kind of makes the sister her like evil apprentice. Right. Right? Um, as a way to get back at Darnell. Right? right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got the restraining order. I can't touch you. I can't hurt you. But look, watch what I'm going to turn your your sister into. Right. I'm going to turn her into she, me. Uh, I'm going to turn her into, you know, they go to They go to court. He can't prove anything. He, he, she did shoot him, but yeah, she, she, she could but, play. But he was he in her house. And he broke in. This he cameras, broke into her cameras house. cameras go, boom, That's how Randy, she where the out. fuck are you? Yeah. And I was then, defending myself. Yes. I was defending myself. Mm-hmm. I didn't invite any of, any of these three people to my they house. They all came to my house. Yes. They all came to my house. But, you know, they came to your house because you were suspected of burning down the club. I didn't. I, I didn't burn there. down any club. Right. I was here. That's how she gets what out. About, what about my web? What about my pathfinder? I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Look at my reputation. And look at his. Yeah. <laughs> we, saw, we saw a woman slap yeah. him inside the club. Yeah. Uh-huh. Look at my... I've I've been at such and such and such in realty partners right. for years. Mm-hmm. I, I sit on the board at you know some at Malibu Public Schools. Right, right. So she gets out. Yeah, she gets out for she sure. She gets out easily. Right. She mm-hmm. gets out um, because they didn't even. So she had, oh, and he has a restraining order on her, but not on T and not on mm-hmm. what well, not on Mia. Mia. Right. So she starts fucking with them, and when it all plays out, it being like they didn't. They did not press charges against her for the false accusation. Maybe there just wasn't enough evidence to keep him. But then that place, right? right. So a good lawyer is going to be like, well, you know, he was picked up uh, right. for domestic right. violence. Right. You know, we couldn't prove that out in court. But now, now, he, sh- now he shows up at her house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We honor. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Wright. Yeah. Please explain to me why you went to her house. Let's get the character witnesses. Right. You know, all the different girls that he was dealing with. <laughs> so she gets out. You had a fist fight inside your own club. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many, you know, at, at what time, um, Darnell, um, how many women would you say you dated at once? Objection. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, right? Like, yeah. You know, see this play Answer out the now. question, Mr. Right. Um, okay. So, yeah. so, so that's that. Um, time for the, for the rankings. Time, time for the fists. Solid, strong five. Five. It's a classic. Five. It's a classic. It's a classic. Yes. This is a classic movie. Performance, story, writing. Everything. And and the thing is, is, is that it did everything correctly. Soundtrack. Soundtrack. It did not have a big budget. It did not. Huh? But it worked within its budget. Mm-hmm. Like, at, at no point in time. Because you don't need anything more. You don't need anything more. Malibu House. We never saw it. We saw it outside of his house once. He, he lives in the jungles. It's just one house. I bet you they used the same house. Well, we saw him walk out of the front door mm-hmm. with, with his clothes, with his jacket. Yeah. At the beginning of the movie. And then we see him walk out of his mom's house, right. too. Right. Right. But, and then, then, the, then the sister in Nikki's house, where Mia was probably staying. Mm-hmm. Um, Which was probably the same. It was probably mom's house. Right. They probably used the same house. Right. They just used the kitchen and living room in one room, bedroom in that's another. That's what I be doing. Right. Yeah, that's what I be doing. You got the club in Lamert. Mm hmm. The outside is the the, the, the fountain. Walking, fountain. Mm-hmm, is that, he was at Griffith Park for the house for the for the you know for the horseback riding. Right. 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 Um, you know, they probably shot the the gallery in Lamert Park. Yes. Of all course. you need is drywall and art. Of course. You know what I mean for that. But at no point in time Exhibition. Yeah. Uh, ex, uh is Exhibition Park. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. That's at no point in time does the budget feel limiting. Right? right, it doesn't feel low budget. They need, they need more money, no? Yeah, feels independent. The, the independent feels the, indie. The, I love my one of my favorite scenes is where the a T was um having dance auditions. Mm-hmm. I, I need y'all to do this. Yeah, yeah, getting it. He's getting it, getting it. <laughs> with, with old lady, and yeah, she fucking it up. Shouts out to the dancers. The, 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 yeah. the dancers in the club was yeah. getting it too. They they was yes. that shit was popping. Shout out to uh, LBC crew. Performing at the show, at the club. Yeah. I love that. A young Snoop. Mm, the young Snoop. Yeah. The Trey D. Trey D. Yeah, with the little tomahawk in Authentic. the back. Authentic. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is uh, 
easily. And for him five to be, star. and for him five to, stars. and it felt very LA. Very LA. And he's from DC or like, you know yeah. he's from the East Coast. I mean, and, and Bobby, of course. Bobby. Like, you know, the, the main, Regina, like, damn near everybody, but but it, they had the right setting. If mm-hmm. for you to be believable, yeah, you li- you live at the, at the base of Baldwin Hills. And Regina King was the perfect yes at the base mm-hmm. of Baldwin Hills. Mm-hmm. The, and so when you get a little bit of money, you professional, you know, you know, you're not you're not a millionaire, right? But you're making cool little bread. You got you a cool little Jeep, a little Jeep, mm-hmm. and you live in the jungles, but you live on Marlton. Yeah, you on Marlton. Yeah. yeah, like you know, you're not rich, rich, right? Right, right. like you know, but but Mar- mm-hmm. ain't nothing wrong with Marlton. Once you move one, once you take, once you buy mm-hmm. Chocolate City. Yeah. Then you and T gonna be living at the top of the hill. Yeah, you're gonna be off over here with some shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what exactly. I mean? Yeah, like, you know, Ladera Center and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, dope, felt great. Um uh Mia, Regina King was a, such a great mm-hmm. uh girl next door that was beautiful. I love her, her glow up. Be- I love her yeah. glow up. Yeah. Like like whenever I look at her, like she's like in it, Regina King is fine, in super, my opinion. Super. But you could but she's fine now. Like she is aged. Like fine wine, yeah, man. I was low key. She was a baddie in Boys in the Hood. Yes, like I was smashing yeah. the Boys in the Hood. She but was even like in the Hood, I, was yeah. like, I love Hood chicks. Yeah. So she was that. She was perfect. Mm-hmm. Even though like enemy in the state, like she's always had a great Come body. On. Yeah, you know what I mean. She looks really good in this Christmas. Yes, you know. So like yes. as she's gotten older, I'll be damned if this woman ain't gotten finer. Yes, she facts. Yeah, facts. Top tier. Top tier. Top tier. <laughs> top tier, man. No, top tier. Top tier. Top tier. Sexy, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, man. That's it, man. Uh, five for, for you as well? Five for me. Five. Easy five. Absolutely. Uh, a Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Um, I think one day we'll, we'll, we'll eventually get to the point of it in this, in this podcast that we'll start re-reviewing. Mm-hmm. Might not be as long. Yeah. But re-reviewing with, like, another guest. Yeah. Just to get their take on it. I'd love to get a few take on this. Possibly. Yeah, man. Um, That's it, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Another episode doom, of Bob. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> it's a thin line <laughs> between love and hate. Yeah, man. Blackbusters. Oh, yeah, Another oh, episode now. Oh, did, did you eat? Did you eat? Yeah. <laughs> man, the H the, the the soundtrack, man. Yeah. I was about to close out, but the H Town, man. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace, Dino, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, come on, man. That song right there, bro. Was that the the. the Classic, the classic for the classic, the classic for the film. Yeah. The soundtrack is amazing. Perfect. Uh, Black Busters, a thin line between love and hate. Uh, another great episode, in my opinion. Um, hopefully, I enjoy it. If you haven't seen the movie in a long time, go watch it. It was a great watch. It, it stood the test of time. It's very relatable still mm-hmm. to this day. Perfect. Um, love yourself, man. Now uh, we get at y'all next time, man. Peace to the max. Blackbusters.